Okay. Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like at o'clock, and we are B Pow. This is B Brian. I am Pow, Pearl of Wisdom. And we are back to NHL picks again. Uh, so happy to have this, be back doing these again. I'm over on my channel. I've been doing some stuff over there. I hope you're going over there to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Feeling a little lonely after we changed the algorithm over there. Everybody forgot I existed. But you're not going to do that anymore, are we? And we're also going to hit the subscribing bell right now. I'll wait. Okay. So let's get into some games for tomorrow being the, what, 6th? 6th of August? tomorrow yeah, uh, yeah we have two games that we're just can't talk about because they're patreon paid picks we're gonna avoid it all together just in case we let something slip but you might want to go over to uh the patreon there you can get in on the cheap for three bucks a month and people are making money over there not to mention just all the prolic itself it's fun it's fun for three bucks a month just for the fun alone or seven or 25 but you can go pick for yourself anyways Let's get into what may be the most interesting series to me. Uh, the Vancouver Canucks, Minnesota Wild B. This is yes. uh, this is quite the series. We, we we thought so going in, and it hasn't disappointed. Yeah, yeah. You know, Vancouver was, you know, goalless in the first game, lost 3-0. Stalock had a, an amazing game. The Wild played well. And then, like you said earlier, you know, Vancouver was out for blood in game two. Turn things around. It was a good game, but uh, definitely expecting Minnesota to come out strong in this game and uh, give give Vancouver a hard time. Yeah, I have a very difficult time making a pick on this one. I'm still stewing over it. Um, I from the, the I think the biggest problem with me is as Dean Evison has had that team going, but this is the first time that I saw that it looked like Minnesota got overmatched a little bit, uh, came in, a, came out a little flatter than usual. And uh, Vancouver, like you said, saw blood right away. And uh, um, this is not a Vancouver team that you can give an inch to. Um, when we were going into this series, I, again, I picked Minnesota to win the series, but I was uh, not a hundred percent on it. This game itself, Tough one to pick. Um, trying to give a lean. If, like you said, this isn't a paid pick for our Patreon members uh, right now. So if I were to give a lean, I suppose PL, either one. I think it's going to be tight. PL, whoever's giving you the money on it, right? Put it in a parlay or something like that. What do you think? Actually, I kind of like the PL in Vancouver. Uh, Minnesota, well, Minnesota's a dog. Minnesota's the favorite. Wow. Yeah, minute, Vancouver was a dog yes, the last game. I had them on a PL with for our Patreon members. As a, as a as a side, I'd have to probably I think I think a total is probably the the right play here. I, I I'd probably go for the over. I can see some goals being scored. I, I think Minnesota is going to come out strong, and Vancouver, you know, they, they got the juice going last game, a couple goals. It's it could be a, a high scoring game. Okay, so we'll give you an over lean here. Actually, I never even really thought about the total. That's not a bad idea. Uh, Stalic didn't look super great. Uh, Markstrom did look good. Uh, and the first game, maybe not so much. So, yeah, it's not a bad play. It's not a bad play at all. Well, B does that sort of thing. That's why we're B pal. <laughs> and not just pal. And not just B. Uh, <laughs> Vegas Golden Knights, uh, St. Louis Blues. What are we looking at? That's a pretty, pretty interesting game as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, Vegas started Robin Lehner um, in their last game, and and it was looking good until he gave up. Uh, I think three, two or three quick goals to Dallas. Um, but Vegas came back, got a win. I guess the big question is who's going to be in nets for Vegas? Um, Bennington is starting to look a little better. Um, but yeah, this is good. It's going to be a tough game, and it's tough to pick a side here. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I like Vegas, I guess, but I mean, St. Louis ain't no pushover. <laughs> yeah, my lean is Vegas, but I'm almost fading this. Uh, I think Flurry will be in net. I haven't liked Bennington so far. 
If there's a reason I'm taking Vegas, I think it's because of that. Uh, St. Louis overall really hasn't looked good so far. Uh, and uh, it's kind of odd. It's going to be interesting going into uh, the next round when they're out of this round robin, what that team looks like. Because so far they haven't really looked great. I'll lean Golden Knights for sure. I don't think I would give this as a pick for anyone, but uh, if you want to give it a shot, if you have a lean on it and you want to hear more of a lean, I guess we're going with Vegas. Uh, so the next game is maybe the most interesting of all. Marquee and I, thought I, would, I thought I would have a pick every game for this one, and uh, I might be fading this game. It's Toronto versus Columbus. Man, what a series this is turning out to be. Yeah, I mean, I absolutely, I I love Toronto and I really want to see them win. But that that first game, game one against Columbus, Columbus didn't give them an inch. I mean, Dubois covered Matthews, didn't give them an inch. They really couldn't get much going. Game two, you know, you started, like you said, mentioned earlier, Columbus just wasn't playing their game. Something was up. They weren't, I don't know, there was just too much pressure or, or they were just second guessing themselves. I did notice that Toronto wasn't really finishing their checks. In the first game, in the second game, I did see him playing a little more physical. I don't know if that had anything to do with the way Columbus played, but I mean, yeah, as, as far as picking a side, this is a tough matchup, but I am siding with the Leafs because I love the Leafs, but I want my dad's team to win. I want I want the Leafs to win. I want them to, to beat Columbus and then beat Boston. I'm hoping they match up against Boston and afterwards, and I hope they kick their ass as well. <laughs> This is emotional uh, and a whole bunch of stuff for me because pride-wise, I want the Columbus Blue Jackets to win because I picked them to win the series. Uh, I also, Tortorella is my favorite coach maybe ever. Uh, I think he might be the best of this generation. But the Colum- I also want Toronto to win for the fans in Toronto as well because I live there and I know they're great people and they're fantastic fans. Like, Montreal Canadiens fans, it's like a religion, but they almost have a snobby angriness to them in a lot of ways. You know what I mean? Like, Toronto's not like that. Toronto fans are very, actually very gracious, I find. And they just, they love their team, but they don't push it on anyone. A lot of people, I think they get a lot of crap more to do with the media, and they push that on the fans. The fans in Toronto are nothing like the media in Toronto. You know what I mean? Do you agree yeah, with yeah. that? They're nothing like the media in, Tor- in Toronto. The fans are way different. And for that reason, I want Toronto to win. But making a pick on this, I can't see Columbus ever have it, like having a bad game like that twice with Tortorella. Back to back. That, that was bad. But on the same note, I don't want to take anything away from the fact that Toronto played really, really well. And it was because of that also that Columbus had such a bad game. Like, I don't want to take away from that. So Toronto, I think, now is going in with the most confidence. Columbus is the one that has to build their confidence back, and they've got the best coach maybe of this generation to do it. So who do I pick here? Gosh, I don't know. Maybe a PL on CBJ in a parlay or something like that. I have a hard time picking one side or the other. I don't even know who I want to win, to tell you the honest truth. It's tough. I, this is a really tough game for me. So if you're leaning Toronto, it's, but it's more because you want them to win than maybe. Yeah, I think it's more of a biased uh, lean. You so know. I think we're kind of saying fade on this game. Uh, we all we have the Capitals, Flyers, and the Flames, Jets, but those are paid picks, um, and uh, I don't really want to give those away. So that's our full 42%, boys and girls. I hope you've enjoyed the spine programming. Hit the like and subscribe. We will see you again tomorrow, I'm pretty sure, hopefully, with more leans and picks, 40 free picks for you. Uh, the part, our, uh, all our information for our Patreon is before and after the video. Check it out. Come join the Frolic. That's it for me. That's it for B. Have a great day. Lots of luck Best to of you. Luck. Awesome. That was really good.